So Islamic education, in its most profound aspect, is about equipping us to undertake this journey, which is the journey by which the self is transformed. And it is not a process of negation. It's a process of uncovering. Because the lower aspects of the soul are conditioned by our bad experiences in the world. Poor upbringing. They are not from the fitra. The fitra is essentially something that is good. And what we came with into the world was not all of these complexes and memories and insecurities that now shape us. What we came with into the world was the ruh, the purity, uh, the absolute wide-eyed optimistic innocence of the baby. Mm -hmm. We need to become like that again, to have faces as, as luminous and as pure and as good as the face of the baby. Mm -hmm. The face of the saint, the face of the prophet, is of course a face of experience and wisdom and knowledge but it is also that luminosity that shines from the brow of the, the, the newly born infant. Absence of guilt, absence of sin. I've always been amazed at <coughs> a Catholic understanding of original sin that holds that the baby when still unbaptized is destined for eternal punishment. Uh, until very recently in the Catholic Church it was thought that if a baby died before being baptized it could never get to heaven and would be punished eternally. Why? Because it's still responsible for the sin of Adam. In the Middle Ages a pregnant woman who died was not allowed to have a funeral in a church. Her body had to wait outside the door of the church because she carried within her womb unregenerate humanity a cursed piece of flesh carrying the stain of original sin not washed away by the sacrament of baptism so such women, pregnant women who died were not allowed into church it's a pretty ferocious view of the human condition and one that is really the polar opposite of our own if you want to know why secularity and the rejection of religion developed in the western world rather than Islam look at things like that a very degraded dark image of humanity and the face of the baby, on their view, should be something demonic, <coughs> monstrous. <coughs> but no, it isn't. It is what we would expect as Muslims. It's something marvellous. As they say in Egypt, when they look at a baby, lesser gadid min al ganna, it's um, new from paradise, it's just come from, from on high. So this is our task. <clears throat> the task is not to get rid of <clears throat> our true natures but to wash out those stables that have accumulated all manner of filth through the years of our existence in the world to rediscover what we are really supposed to be which is the khulafa and the adult can be an actualized khalifa in, a sense that, in the sense that a baby can't because a baby has no tasrif has no capacity to control itself or others and is hence Khalifa only in a latent sense the superiority of the saint and the, the prophet over the innocent baby is a categoric superiority because of education because of knowledge because of experience <coughs> now 